Hey YouTube, just wanted to do a video review today of uh, this little bitty uh, GE antenna. It's just hooked up to this little bitty TV and we're sitting out on the porch and uh, we're just curious to see uh, how many channels we can get uh, with this little antenna sitting outside and right now we're at 22 channels on the channel scan but uh, after we um, uh, do this we're going to plug in an antop uh, indoor outdoor antenna and we're going to see just how many uh, we get with it and uh, I'll update you on uh, exactly how many uh, channels we get with this little antenna alright guys we're back uh, the TV got 22 channels and as you can see uh, number three is in and out and it's very pixelated and so it's just not getting a very good signal and I'm gonna run through the channels there's 30 3.2 seems to be coming in pretty good there is a little bit of pixelation on their faces I could tell let's see 3.3 seems to be coming in good let's see 9.1 it's ABC looks like it's good 9.2 Fox coming in good TBD 9.3 it's good 12.1 ah, it's slow to respond so don't know if I'm gonna be able to pick up 12.1 yep no signal very pixelated and keep in mind this uh this is all sitting outside the antenna and the TV is sitting right outside there's 12.2 the bounce channel it's not even gonna come in no signal 12.3, it's the escape channel, no signal. <laughs> uh, let's see, 12.4, grit TV, that's westerns, no signal. Uh, 23.1, this is TBN, uh, pretty much no signal. Uh, 23.2, it's not going to come in. 23.4, it's not going to come in. 23.5 is not going to come in. <laughs> um, 45.1. It came in. Now it's it's a little pixelated. Oh, it finally went out. 45.2. Looks like it's coming in pretty good. Let's see. 45.3. Looks like it's coming in good. It's PBS. And then 53.1 is CW. 53.2, it's coming in good. 53.3, it's good. 53.4, and that's all of them. And so you can see uh, a lot of them, it's not coming in very well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pause the video and I'm gonna switch the antennas over to the Antop uh, Big Boy antenna and uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, we've got the uh, Antop flat panel smart pass uh, amplified antenna hooked up, and we're doing a channel scan, and right now we're at 36 channels. Uh, it shows uh, 36 digital and one analog, and it's almost to the end of the, the scan here. So uh, just bear with me. Uh, it looks like it's gonna pick up a few more. We'll just have to wait and see. The last antenna picked up about 22, and so it just didn't do very good. And even though it said it picked up 22 channels, um, there was a lot of them that it just they wouldn't even come in. So it was pretty much just a waste. So yeah, uh, yeah, it looks like the uh, Antop picked up uh, quite a few. We'll run through them and just see how clear they are. Then I'll show you how I've got it hooked up. There's 3.1, super clear. 3.2 super clear 3.3 super clear these channels are just perfect it's a night and day difference between a, uh, a cheap antenna and a quality amplified antenna and I know this one's that I'm reviewing is an indoor outdoor antenna 
So you could set it up on a dresser if you wanted to, or you could mount it outside on a pole. And, uh, and also this one is amplified. So it makes a world of difference. And you can definitely, definitely tell a big pic difference in picture quality. There's no pixelation. Colors just look better to me. I mean, I hadn't even gotten to a bad channel. Every one of them are absolutely perfect. Plus, whenever you're changing the channels, uh, it don't seem like it takes as long. It, it's really able to get to the next channel really quick. And I say that, and then this one, it, it, it didn't even come in. It, it started to, and then it just went out. Yep, no signal. But the one thing I will say is I haven't even adjusted the antenna. I hadn't even uh, pointed it in any kind of direction. I've just got it sitting out here on the porch. So you can... Uh, Check out antennaweb.org or tvfool.com and punch in your address and it'll tell you uh, which uh, it'll tell you which address or which direction to uh, point your antenna in once you punch in your address. Let's see here. 23 23.2. 23.3 so I'm probably going to play around with it and see if I can pick up a little bit more by pointing it in uh, the correct direction and if you need to uh, and you don't have a compass and don't know which direction to point it in you can um, always use a compass on your phone there's several apps All right, guys, that was all of them. And I just wanted to show you that uh, I do have it plugged in. You can see that the uh, coax cable is plugged into the TV. And then I've got the uh, amplifier hooked into the, the cable. And then this is the uh, TV. And I'm sorry, this is the old antenna. And you can see that the, the two wires come down to here. And this is the one that plugs into the wall. And this is your the coax that come in into the uh, the little amplifier. And if you look right here on the top, it's got an on and off switch and your LED light that tells you it's on. And then it comes right down here to the coax cable that they supply in the box. And I've just got it cold up right here. Like I said, I hadn't even tried to set it in any particular direction. But... You can see um, I've got the base mounted on the antenna and I've just got it sitting here on a bucket right here on the porch. But uh, if you wanted to pole mount it, there is a, uh, a bracket down there with a U-bolt and it just uh, makes for a simple installation. And I'll give you a tip. Um, a lot of these companies, uh, when they supply you with cables, the cables are not the highest quality. Um, I noticed on this uh, RG6 cable, uh, is it the conduct the center conductor is uh, like a copper clad, and so that's not going to give you the best signal possible. So if you want a little bit better signal, you could upgrade to a premium solid copper RG6 cable 
and uh, might help you out if you're uh, you're trying to pick up a particular channel and it's not coming in exactly perfect you might try upgrading your cable and uh, you might be surprised all right and I also wanted to um, give you a model number on this particular antenna it's a Antop AT dash 400 BV this is their big boy and like I said it is an amplified antenna it's an indoor outdoor and they have a pretty long range and um, you know it is an HD antenna so uh, as far as the range goes uh, they say it's a 70 to 85 mile range and you know keep in mind if you're gonna get you know 85 miles out of it it's gonna be have to be pretty perfect condition you know here in Tennessee we've got a lot of hills and mountains and you know a lot of trees and and stuff so keep in mind if you don't if you don't get exactly 85 miles don't be disappointed that's just typical uh, because you will experience some loss because of um, different blockages but uh, one thing I do like about this antenna is it has the 4G LTE filter and what that does is it it uh, keeps cell phone interference from uh, down from messing with your TV signal so uh, that is a plus and uh, anyways guys that's I'm gonna wrap it up it's gonna be the end of this video uh, please like and subscribe to my channel I'm always getting different antennas to review and uh, I'm really happy with this one I think it's done a really good job and so uh, anyways guys talk to you later until the next time